I've done quite a few stretched resolution tutorials for Fortnite, but I've never shown the CRU method, which uses the custom resolution utility to get true display scaling that's noted as the truest zero input delay stretched resolution method out there at the minute. As always though, if you do decide to set this up, you'll benefit from getting more FPS as the texture details are decreased with the lower pixel resolution that also improves visibility, as well as benefit from bigger player models as the decreased pixels give a stretched player model effect that obviously can improve your aim. But in chapter 4, season 4, for those wondering, I recommend using these stretched resolutions on screen. The first one is 720 by 1080 This is used by Peter Bot, and him himself said that he felt like a god using it, as it really does look like a native resolution, the pixel count isn't too far off, so it's essentially a stretched res that looks like native, so it has the benefits as well. A personal favourite of mine is 1680 by 1080 I think this is an all-round good-looking res that isn't too far stretched but isn't too close to native. I really love this one and it's probably the one I'm going to showcase in this video today. There's also 1550 by 1080 This is used by Martos and this is way more stretched than the other one before and it will definitely improve your aim with the bigger looking player models. And we've also got 1280 by 1080 This is another one used by Martos himself. But the only reason I recommend this one in particular is if you have a low spec PC slash laptop. Basically if you need like a 40-50% to 50 FPS boost this is the stretched resolution for you. It's super stretched and it literally will give you crazy FPS. Now to set up the CRU method all you want to do is go over to your desktop and press the Windows key plus R then type in percentage sign local update and then percentage sign again like so. In your local you want to find Fortnite by pressing F. You then want to go into saved, go into config, Windows Client, then you'll see your game user settings file. Now first things first, you want to go ahead and right click on this, click on the properties, and inside here ensure that the read only box is unchecked. For a lot of you out there, you might have this checked, just uncheck it, click apply, then press OK. After that, we can then open it via right clicking on it and clicking on edit. And inside the config, you want to basically scroll down to near the bottom where you'll find both resolutions. There's the normal one and then there's the last confirmed one. You should see them pretty soon. Yep, here they are here. So there's two sets. There's this set right here where there's four in total. And then there's also um, another set right here. Basically, you want to make sure that both of these are on the native 1920 by 1080. Once you've done that, click on File, then click on Save. Now we can go back onto our desktop, right click on it, and select the NVIDIA Control Panel. Inside this, you want to go over to the left hand side under Display and click Change Resolution. Then you want to select your main game and monitor. Mine is this BenQ one right here, it should be the first one. And under Resolution, you want to click on the Customize button. Make sure you've got the native 1920 selected. Click Customize. And then you want to click this box right here, or ticket, sorry, enable resolutions not exposed by the display, and you want to disable any custom resolution you've got in here, which would normally be used for the GPU scaling method in my other tutorials. For this one, though, you want to go ahead and delete both of these. Your screen might go black for a few seconds when deleting them, it's all good. Once those two are unchecked, you can go ahead and untick this box right here. Again, enable resolutions not exposed by the display. Then you want to press OK. And after that, you want to go over to the left hand side and click on Adjust Desktop Size and Position. Inside here, again, make sure your main gaming display is selected. Uh, for the scaling, we do not want to use full screen, that's for the other tutorial. Instead, we want to select No Scaling for this one. And then for Perform Scaling On, again, the other tutorial, you'd set up GPU. For this one, we want to use Display. Next, you want to head over to Google and type in Custom Resolution Utility like so and give that a search. Then the first link right here should be the one that's the custom resolution utility CRU. Give that a click and inside the monitor test page if you scroll down a tiny bit you will see the zip file right here and it should be the latest version. Give that a click. Once it's downloaded make sure to extract it. Once extracted you should see we've got a load of clickable EXEs. The first one you want to open is the CRU. Inside the CRU the first thing you want to do is head to the top tab. It's a drop down and you want to select your main gaming monitor. Now mine right here is the third one down, but for most people it should be the top one. However, select the main gaming monitor that you are going to be playing on. Then you want to go down to the bottom and you'll see on the left hand side under established resolutions, there's a none button and you want to give that a click. That'll deselect all of these, which is what we want. After that, you want to go down to the bottom right under extension blocks. 
You want to select the first one right here and click on edit. You then want to select the bottom one from the list right here. Once you've selected that one, you want to click on the edit button. And then inside the detailed resolution, you want to copy all of these values right here. Just click copy, then click OK. Then after that, what you can do once you have copied them all is literally click delete all. Then go ahead and press OK. Once you've done that, you may or may not have a ton of standard resolutions in the middle box right here. Now, some of you might not, but if you're like me and you have a ton of them, what you want to do is click delete all on these and that'll remove all of them. Then after that, you want to click on the top one right here under detailed resolution and you want to go ahead and delete all of these again. So as you can see, you've got a clear top box and a clear secondary box. And now what you want to do is under standard resolutions, you want to click add. You want to select the resolution and you want to make sure this is on 1920 by 1080, 16, 9 like so, then press OK. And this will add one under the standard resolution. We then want to go to the top one under detailed resolution and click add. And inside this detailed resolution tab is where we're going to add our custom resolution. But first you want to click on paste and then you can go ahead and edit in your custom resolution. And I'm going to use 1680 by 1080 so I don't need to change the vertical. After that you can go ahead and press OK. So now you should have your custom resolution in the detail resolutions box and your standard resolution should be 1920 by 1080 in the standard resolutions box. Some people do delete the extension block but I found it's better to have this enabled as you don't get any black screens or anything like that. But once yours is looking like this you want to go ahead and press OK. Then if you open up your CRU folder again some people like to click the restart 64 exe or restart exe but I found this also can give you a black screen so I much prefer to go over to my desktop on the bottom left and actually restart my computer from here. Oh, as well, before you do restart your PC, if you do encounter any sort of problems like a black screen or anything like that, you can read this Google document that I'll have a link to in the description below and it'll help you fix any of those issues. After you have restarted your PC, you may notice that your monitor is in 60 hertz and that's completely fine. What you now want to do is open up your Windows settings, go into System, then in Display, if you scroll down to the bottom and click on Advanced Display Settings, then click on the Display Adapter Properties, then select this little button right here called List All Modes. Inside this List All Modes, if you scroll down to the bottom, you will notice your brand new resolution or your true resolution right here that were customized earlier. Mine is 1680 by 1080 and it's got the highest hertz possible for my specific monitor. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Then you're going to click apply. Your screen might go black for a second. It's all good. It'll come back. And when it does come back, it will be in 1680 by 1080 or whatever your custom resolution is. Mine actually might not show on the recording software. And now when you go ahead and launch up Fortnite, you will notice under the video settings under resolution, we now have our true stretched resolution, which is going to give us basically zero input delay compared to the other stretched resolution tutorials. If the video helped out, feel free to drop a like on it. And also, if you do want to revert back to 1920 by 1080 what you can do is click reset all. And what this will do is it will reset all the CRU to be back to 1920 by 1080 if stretch isn't for you. You can see it completely reset all of it and all we have to do now is either click the restart exe or reboot our computer i'm gonna reboot my computer oh as well um it might mess up your displays if you've got um free monitors like i do all you have to do to fix this is configure them like you do then make sure to take make this my main display for your main monitor another thing you can do is head back into the change resolution tab and make sure you've got 1920 by 1080 selected and then you can also adjust desktop size and position make sure you've got your main monitor selected change this back to full screen and then also make sure the display scaling is on gpu if you're not using the cru method then click apply but that right there is how you get the cru stretched resolution method in fortnite if the video helped out feel free to drop a like on it drop a sub on the channel and use my code in the item shop to help me out a ton that's all for now be sure to check out these other two helpful videos on screen right now